my mom in that time. Oh, you love it because you get spoiled now, huh? Oh, you do! What's up? Dude, what was that? What was that you do? You dropped it. You gonna get it? You gonna get two chickens? I'll get two chickens. Here you go. Have some banana. Quick update on Zelda. Very much pregnant. We still have her separated and isolated from the goats, but I mean, she gets some yard time. So right now she's, our yard is divided. So she, um, she's in the front portion, portion of the yard, the one that's closest to the house. So, um, I know, huh, sweetheart? And, yep. So there she is. No babies yet. Huh, Zell? Sorry. So today we decided to take it off and head to Springfield. The kids wanted to go see a movie and I, you know, had errands that I had to run. Believe it or not, our water heater went out, so I had to go price that. And um, Brian's going to put one in, but still, um, we're camping it until we can get it done. But, um, so we drove into town and spent the day there. So as is typical, this is what happens. We came back and Zelda had two babies. Both of them are on the ground. This one, I gotta make sure she's had her colostrum. We have a girl. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. And a boy. And so we just got back in and Zelda's getting her nutrients. She looks like, I don't know if she's, I got a bumper to see if she's got more coming or if this is the end of it for her. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to put this baby up on her and see if she's got taken some milk. And I mean, she could just be tired, but um, I've already given her, I've given her some um, vitamins and some minerals and things like that. And next I'm going to put her up on the, her, on the nipple to see if she'll take some. And, um, and then we have this little baby boy too. <laughs> yeah. What do you have to say? What do you have to say? No? You don't have to say anything? Okay. You don't have to. What do you have to say? Hi! <laughs> and then there's Fiesta. Alright, well here I am. I'm going to go play with this baby. So here's her little girl. She got up. There's her little girl. She's got some really pretty colorings. Look at, she's got that little spot. And then, oh. So we are done. That makes how many? I have no idea. That makes how many? Oh, we were at 14, 16 babies. 16 babies. 
Oh, is he nursing? Goats, I think. No, well, 16 babies. Yeah, plus nine. Hi, guys. It's a boy and a girl. It was decided at first glance we're keeping this little girl. She's not even off offered. <laughs> Do you want more? You still have only like, two ounces left. How many three ounces? I'm so excited. <laughs> Finally, we're done. We oh, so. that much anymore. We can't let her out in the yard anymore, though. What? We can. We can? But Once they heal up and stuff, then she can go back. <laughs> She can actually probably go out quicker than Mary did. Yeah. Okay, um, so, uh, yeah, um, we have a chicken back here. Yeah, look at that. Babies. Uh, she's been sitting on the eggs for a while and, uh, Babies. yeah, they hatched. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> look at her. She looks That's proud. Nice. Yeah, I heard him. I, I heard him earlier today as well. This morning? Yeah, I heard him this morning. I thought usually you check on her. Yeah, but I forgot to check on her earlier today. And then you have the the shell right there. That's the one that I saw. Oh my god! You saw the shell but didn't read. No, I didn't see the. I saw it just now. Oh. There's probably more under her. I want to know how many she has under her. I know, but we can't pick her up. Yeah, probably. So Millie came out. She's with mom. And Zelda was screaming for her. And now let's just see if we can get Millie to take the teat. She's right there. Oh, sorry. I know, baby. That's your little girl. We gotta throw some pine shavings down in here. There we go. I think it'll work. Here, hold still. There we go. Yay! Everybody say yay! <laughs> All right, good job. Millie, you've got milk. Yeah, I know. All right, we're going to fix up your pen, too. That makes me happy. I'll come out during the day and check on her, make sure everything's okay. I know. Yeah, you're a mama now. You're a mama. All right, that's a happy day for me. love watching their little t tails wag. It just makes me so happy. They do this with mom. They do this with us. Happy goats. Happy, happy goats. <laughs> Hayden threw down some more food. That's why it's so loud. 
Oh, it's time to build the new barn. Oh, dear. All right, good morning. So, a bit of a recap. <laughs> we went to Springfield yesterday, did our things. Actually, was pricing out water heaters because our water heater went completely on us. And um, we still get a little, we get warm water. We don't get like super hot water. So whenever we shower or bathe or whatever, the hot water is on full tilt. And um, so it's going out on us. Anyway, so it was pricing out water heaters, getting all that taken care of. And then you know, enjoying the day. Zelda has been procrastinating about having these kids. You know, we've been on baby watch for a while. What's the day? I knew it was going to happen. I just knew it was. So we came home. Um, the car is getting knocked all over the road because we had some pretty gusty winds. Today's going to be a really, really wind. We're on tornado. Not tornado watch today, but I'm sure we will be because we're part of those um, storm zones. So um, we'll be watching for those warnings today. But I know later on this afternoon we're going to be 20, 30 mile an hour winds. Anyway, long and short, came home. Guess what? Two babies on the ground. First baby. Um, she was kind of cold, so uh, so basically probably what happened was is, um, Zelda kitted, cleaned her off, and then pushed out the boy. She put the girl first, the boy for second, and pushed out the boy, and then cleaned him off. And in the process, you know, baby got cold. And since I wasn't here to catch, which normally I am, I'm usually here for all the all the kiddings. Anyways, I'm trying to get the shadow out of my face. There we go. Anyway, so... Um, that happened. So we came in, took care of everything. In the middle of all this, we found out that baby the chicken lay, uh, finally hatched out some eggs. And she's a small little bunny. We put probably 10 eggs under her. And I think she's got five. So we moved her into the the chicken enclosure because the goats will, we put her in a crate, but the goats will stand on the crate and probably knock it around. So we didn't want that. So right now the chicken enclosure is really, really tight and uh, moved her there. And then um, we also got the Russians that are in there too. And they're, they're, they're actually ready to come out. But with the storm today, I'm not gonna bring them out into the yard. I'm gonna keep most everybody inside because I don't want any babies blown away. <laughs> so anyways, long story short, big, small barn, lots of animals. Um, so that's the next project is actually, we've got enclosures coming up and we're gonna start building within the next week or so or a couple weeks actually, and then um, get just make it more airy and spacey and then and then work on a bigger barn, a better barn for us. So um, so anyways, back to little Milagro. So we, we brought Millie in last night. We noticed that she just wasn't warming up. So time to warm her up, brought her in. I had some colostrum in the freezer from when uh, Libby kitted and I, I milked her out. I should have milked out the other moms, but I actually had that. So I pulled that out, warmed it up, and I have um, these little small little droppers about this big. Small droppers and dropper fed her because she just was not suckling at all. Got her warm, got her some, you know, nutrients or what have you. And every two hours, then Elena and I came out last night with the milker and then we milked out Zell and got as much of that we could. And so during the course of the night, I was giving that to Millie. And then this morning, she finally took a bottle. And she was standing up and she was, you, you saw that. So she was all excited and happy. And so then, okay, let's see what mom does. Came out, Zelda was screaming for her. So perfect, this is a great sign. So went in, got the baby, brought her out. Zelda took her, accepted her. And I am happy because that means I don't have to have two hour bottle feedings and I have a ready, ready milker. So I'm a happy, happy mom that way. So anyways, that's where we are. <laughs> it's been a busy day. It's just typical. And so now we got, um, in the chaos of all of it, we, I realized we didn't put down any more pine shavings. So we're gonna open up our last bag of pine shavings. And now we have to go get more pine shavings today and um, throw that down in Zelda's, in Zelda's area and also in the chicken coop because the chicken coop needs it. And I'll pick up some more and start the process all over again. Hayden's busy opening it up right now. That's what you hear. So anyways, that's where we are. It's time for me to now start milking. <laughs> and the Russians, look at them. Look at how big these colts are. The colts are doing really, really good. The sun is right there, so it's a terrible view. But um, so far, this house is really holding up. Clearly, chickens come on the top. But so far, this house is really holding up. And I'm thinking next week, we can move them out. 
Get them out into the yard. I think they might be big enough. So people are phasing in and out.